What is going on guys? My name is Jay and welcome back to another Let's Play episode. So even though it's only been a couple of days since my last one, I've actually managed to get quite a bit done. So I'm pretty excited to show you what I've been doing and what I've been making. First of all, we're going to head over to the cave area though and show you the little improvements I've made over there. So, hopefully you like what I've done. I have actually swapped the uh, glowstone in the ceiling for the lights. So, hopefully you enjoy that. And, yeah, I, I think it looks a lot better. So, I've changed it for the stone brick as well. And used the lamps instead which is uh, really nice to power these two seconds to power these all I've done is put a lever on the stone in between two of them and that'll parry uh, that'll power both of them so yeah it's worked out pretty well I've still got a bit to go but as you can see this side looks much better than this side in my opinion so I'm really happy with how that's turned out. That was actually quite a big job on its own. And I've still got some to do. But yeah, I'm going to go and show you the other thing that I've done now. And this is what I'm really happy about. So I hope you like it too. I've been promising it for a while. So finally got around to doing it. To be honest, I left doing it for a while because I knew it was going to be a fun project. I knew I was going to be able to do some nice stuff with it. So, that's what I've done. And, yeah. I'm thinking for a name for it. I'm thinking I'm going to call it The Barn. And you'll see why in a sec. Uh, you might have seen there. I've installed a mod. It's uh, the Auto Switcher mod. And basically... What it does is, as long as you've got a uh, weapon on your hotbar, not a weapon, a tool on your hotbar, it will switch to that type of weapon, uh, that type of tool, and use it for the brick that you're hitting. So, that's a really nice, really nice mod. I don't exactly think it's game breaking, and it's just really helpful, so I thought I'd install that. So yeah, let's uh, check out the barn now and see what you guys think about it. This is just temporary by the way. This is what I've been used for getting the mobs up here. And as you can see, it is the sheep farm that I've been promising. So I have all my different coloured sheep, which is, I've put these three blocks in front and that will show me what the wool looks like that comes after these because as you can see the wool actually looks pretty different to the sheep on some of these so I just put the wool blocks there so I can see exactly what's going on and I've done a two story design because I didn't want it really long I wanted it quite compact so you're probably thinking how do I shear these sheep if they're not in the front well that's what I've got this button for when I press this button, it opens up water streams, which will push the sheep to the front. So I can just run along, do my thing, shearing these sheep, like so. And also these guys here get pushed to the front, so I can just go along and shear them as well. And when I'm done, press the button, and that'll allow them to eat the grass again. And all blocks that I shear up there get pushed off the edge, off the edge, off the end, so they can be collected here. Now this hasn't been complete for very long at all, and already I'm uh, getting pretty good results. So I'm happy with that. How that's turning out and yeah let's do the blue as well go back and collect some of these 
This was a really big job, by the way, guys. So, yeah, I apologize for it not being finished yet. But this took me absolutely ages to do. So, I hope you're uh, not too annoyed that I haven't finished it yet. I'm sure you won't be. Uh, Grey. So, uh, green. Blue. Uh, green. Uh, go back along and collect the brown. So, yeah. That's the uh, farm that I've been working on. As you can see, they eat the grass and grow back the wall pretty quick. So, that's how I can get such good uh, rates. It's a 3x3 three three area where they can eat the grass. And the blocks in between, when the fence post is on, fence posts aren't even, are grass blocks. So, the sheep can't eat them, but the grass can spread out to these blocks. So even if you, they were to eat all of this area, there would still be grass to spread there so they can get the wall back. And I'll just jump up and show you the top quickly. But it's basically exactly the same. It's a really bad lag for some reason. But uh, yeah, this is too high because I didn't want the wall popping off and landing on the fence posts uh, and yeah that's about it because uh, obviously if it lands on the fence posts here it's not a big problem I can just go and grab it if it lands on it up there it'd be a bit awkward so the water helps to stop that and uh, yeah I suppose I better show you a bit of the redstone for it so I'll do. This is a supercharged T flip flop. So it's just basically a button that it's like a lever. When I hit the button on the other side of that torch, the torch goes off, which will allow this piston thing to switch the location of the block. And if I do it again, you see the blocks here, which is giving that redstone power. And then when I break it, the block moves. So that's how that works. Um, I can't destroy that really. Uh, how are we going to get around this? Uh, damn. No, that'll do. That just goes to a line of redstone with redstone torches that power the pistons. And when there's a signal coming off this, the redstone torches are turned off, which allows the pistons to pull up and let the water through. And like I say, the cells are free wide, so the pistons pull one up at each side which means the uh, water ends up being centralized and the drops fall down from the middle block to get the water on top I about to use half slabs instead of full slabs because if I used full slabs I would have got these torches burning out due to like sort of the redstone powering the torch and then the torch powering the redstone so on so on but if you use half slabs it doesn't affect the redstone, but it will keep the water in. So that's a nice little tip if you're trying to do it compact like me. And yeah, that's all there really is to that. It's a pretty nice design. It took me quite a while to do, so I'd appreciate it if you liked the video or all that jazz. Because I spent a lot of time doing this last night. And yeah, um, like I say, I'm going to try and get these videos out more regular now. Now I've got some time off. I've also created something in my uh, creative world, which I'll be showing off. Probably do a video on that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. Uh, I'm not very well, in case you haven't told. And so I might sound a bit like an idiot and a bit flued up. 
and that's because I am. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and until next time, I'll see you later guys. Peace. Let's try that again. Yeah, we're fine now. Oh. That didn't go well.